Today I show you my new weapon for fall ball. What's going on, Throne Army? Have a new weapon of choice for you guys. Um, this one's not as elaborate as my other ones. It's just a stick that I thought I wanted to put together um, as a backup. I'm officially retiring my Evo X6, so I wanted to uh, uh, get a new backup, maybe try something new for fall ball. Um, you know, it's always a good idea to kind of, you know, maybe change up a head or change up a pocket. Just try and figure out if there's something that's better out there for you or get used to a different style, and that's what I kind of wanted to go with. Um, and I just thought it'd be fun to do a kind of a fall theme stick. So here is my new Warrior Evo X. Um, I've always enjoyed these heads. Um, once you get past kind of their ugliness, they're really nice. Um, and I just did one for Vitaly, or I did an Evo 3 for him, but I just did a, um, an Evo X for him and I absolutely loved it. So I figured I'd put one together for myself. Um, and we're kind of going with like a throne and like a fall theme. And uh, I think it's because I've been watching way too much Duck Dynasty lately, but um, I kind of wanted to do a Eddie Van Halen slash kind of like grass, like duck season um, die to it. And I wanted to do kind of a throne camo. I didn't want to do like a yellow, black and white kind of urban camo. I actually kind of wanted to do like a folly camo. So um, what I did is um, the head is black and then it has athletic gold and then this kind of grass green that's like in between the yellow and the gold. And it gives it a really cool camo -y look. And then we did a gray throne logo up top. That was pretty much the idea to do a kind of a, a gray, uh, yellow, yellowish green and black camo. Um, I don't know if you ever watched Duck Dynasty, but they have uh, like uh, their trucks are wrapped, and and um, one of the trucks is black, and then has like um, kind of this type of grass coming up the sides, like it's like in a field. I thought it looked really cool, and I'm like that'd be cool to do a lacrosse stick with. So that's what I did. It's only on the inside, and there's black all the way on the outside, and then my favorite part down here. Um, it's gonna be hard to see on camera, but I'll definitely be throwing photos up on Instagram and Facebook. It, it says hashtag Throne Army, which I think is really really cool. I um, wanted to keep it simple. I just wanted to do something a little fun. Um, as for the pocket, I threw an outlaw in this. Um, I have been um, becoming, um, I've been working a lot on my shot um, and kind of just placement and power and release and, um, but I also kind of wanted a lower pocket because I am primarily a dodger slash feeder, but um, I wanted to um, really add that shooting element to my game because um, it's nice nice and quick. Sometimes I have them where I just catch it on the right side and fire and I'm good, but most people um, noted that I'm gonna dodge them and get in close and so I just kind of wanted to add that part to my game and uh, see what it did and it was really awesome I played uh, Sunday with this head for the first time first shot goal um, probably like 12 yards out 10 12 yards out um, it went right underneath the, the goalie's arm um, handcuffed him he was a lefty um, it was awesome and so it was really cool I really like that and then the other thing about the big head which is nice is um, um, when fall ball was on a lot of guys are rusty um, I play year-round so I'm normally pretty decent um, with just passing and catching year round, but a lot of guys take uh, summer off. And so as we saw in last week's, um, or this weekend's fall ball, a lot of rustiness. And so with the Evo X, you never <laughs> miss a pass because it's so big. And that's what I really loved about it. Um, I was like, uh, we were pushing transition and I was dropping down, um, kind of not for a fast break, but just to set up positioning and to try and give an outlet pass. And the guy threw it way over my head. And I literally just put it in my left hand and put it all the way up, like on the end line, like tippy toe in the end line, went right in the stick and then went in and played. Um, and we got a shot on goal from it, um, which was pretty cool. But um, yeah, it's just, it's fun. It's just fun to switch stuff up. I wanted to do, um, I, you know, I love black and yellow, but I thought it'd be cool to kind of do uh, something a little different, but still have the yellow in it. So that's why I went with this. And now let's get back to the pocket. So it's an outlaw. Um, it gives you some good power. It's really that nice mid, mid low that will just sit down here, which I absolutely love. And then it's got a nice hard release because of that heavy nylon. Um, and probably the like riskiest thing I did with the whole color is I put a 15 mil forest green in here, which is a really nice color. I was looking at black, I was looking at yellow, um, but I just thought it kind of just complemented it all. I made the, the mesh kind of secondary to everything else, which I thought was cool. Cause I don't want to make it too over the top. Um, even though it kind of got there, it still looks awesome. Um, and then, um, up top we have gray and yellow sides I went with Kelly and the throat we have yellow and I also have my little IV down here that I do on all my heads um, yellow heavy top nylon and gray shooters I absolutely love the colorway it is a little bit dirty I have been playing a lot with this stick this past week um, just to break it in and um, I really really liked it it's also been amazing fall weather here so I've been out playing a lot of wall ball um, just every chance I get uh, it's probably I was watching the man cup the final I think on Friday night 
And uh, in between the periods, I'd go outside and under the one street light that's bright enough and just play wall ball for the 10 or 12 minutes out there in the locker room to come back in. So um, I wasn't really paying attention where the ball was going and how dirty it was getting. Um, but it's a lacrosse stick. Oh, and I have it on uh, one of my OG cryptos, fully um, kind of box tape, getting ready for box season, and one of the yellow end caps. Um, absolutely love the setup. Super light, um, extremely lethal, never going to drop a pass. Um, I, I really like it. I really, really do like it. Um, I don't know if I like it as much as I like my Nas yet. Um, the Nas has a lot more um, kind of feel and hold to it, which I like a lot more. Um, but this one definitely has more power, um, I feel like, with a shot with a with little bit stumpier head. Um, and the, the pocket is a little bit lower, and so I can get a little bit more full rotation on it. But um, I really like the head. It's a nice, nice change up. Um, I like kind of the uh, the fall theme to it. It's kind of cool. And um, I'm, I'm, I kind of went with the Mundorf also because he's kind of, you know, um, kind of an outdoorsy guy. He does hunting and stuff like that. His Instagram is like... A quarter of lacrosse, a quarter of food, a quarter of I don't know, and a quarter of hunting. So I think that's pretty cool um, that I went with something like that. And that's everything, guys. So let me know what you think of my new Evo X in the comments below. I um, thought it was just something fun to do, and it's just it's going to be a cool backup to have for fall. That's everything, guys. Like the video, please throw the video like. And it's fall ball. Get outside. Practice, boys. Season is coming. Um, box season is coming. Super excited for that. I was talking to all the guys about that on Sunday. Um, and I'm going to have to probably put a cool box stick together, too, um, soon for that, even though I don't need it. It's just, it's fun to get ready for the season and get ready for box. That's like half the, uh, half the fun of preparing. So that's everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you guys soon.